Today I'm going to show you a great way to save your avocados if you have too many ripe ones on hand. Frozen avocado keeps well for months, so you don't have to worry about missing that perfect window if you have all of your avocados get ripe at the same time, but you're not quite ready to use all of them yet. Now this process is super easy. To get started, you'll cut the avocados in half, then use your knife to carefully remove the pit. I once broke my favorite ceramic knife by doing this, so learn from my mistake and use a sturdier metal knife instead. If you're nervous to use your knife to remove the avocado pit, you can also just cut the avocado in two quarters first, then use your hands to remove the pit. It's a little messier that way, but it still totally works. Cut the avocado in two quarters, then remove the peel on each slice. Now you'll need a baking sheet or a plate that will fit on a flat shelf inside your freezer. Line that with parchment paper to prevent sticking, then arrange the avocado slices in a single layer. Make sure that they aren't touching each other so they won't freeze together. Place the pan in the freezer for at least one hour. They are usually firm to the touch by then, but you can leave them in longer if you need to. Once the avocado is firm enough to handle, transfer the pieces to an airtight container. I'm using a reusable silicone bag to save on freezer space, but you can also use an airtight container with a lid. Frozen avocado will keep well in the freezer for up to six months. The nice thing about freezing your avocado in two quarters is that it's easy to grab exactly what you need for recipes later. I usually add a quarter of one in my smoothies to add creaminess, but if you need a whole avocado or more for a recipe, it's easy to grab exactly what you need. If you need to thaw the frozen avocado, place what you'll need in the fridge for at least eight hours before you'll need it. You can also do this overnight. This is what my thawed avocado looks like after thawing it for eight hours in the fridge. It's not quite as pretty as a freshly sliced avocado, but it will still work well for making a recipe like my homemade guacamole. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and will help you avoid wasting any perfectly ripe avocados in the future. And you can always find the step-by-step -step tutorial with photos and the printable recipe over on my website, detoxanista.com. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my other videos for more quick and easy real food recipes.